Hey, this is Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub. Uh, Tina Tenda on the Maker Hub forums had a question about adding a delay to uh, between toggling a control and updating an output. So I've created a VI that does that. I have a button control here and an LED output, and then you can specify a delay in milliseconds. Right now it's set to 1000, which is a one second delay. And the idea is when I click the control, the output will turn on immediately. But when I turn the control off, the output will delay a certain amount, in this case one second, before it actually turns off. So I'll go ahead and click run here so we can see this in action. And when I click the button, the LED turns on immediately. But when I click it again to turn the button off, it waits for one second before turning off the LED. So let's have a look and see how this works. I'll press control E to bring up the block diagram. And you can see we're using a state machine here. So let's start with the idle state. Um, we have four states, idle, active, falling edge, and delay. So the idea is we'll start in the idle state where nothing is going on. When someone presses the control, we'll move to the active state and update the output. Then we'll stay in the active state until we see a falling edge. So the control uh, being toggled back to false. When we do that, we'll mark the time and then we'll sit in the delay state checking the time until enough time has elapsed and we'll set the output to false and go back to the idle state. So you can see inside the while loop, we have a case structure and we're using this enum to select the, the state that we're in. So the idle state, we basically look at the value of the control and we're using a select statement to decide if we need to switch cases or not. So if the control is false, we're still in the idle state. So we'll use this bottom, um, we'll output the bottom state which is idle, so we'll stay in idle. If the user presses the control, it'll turn true, and then we'll use this value, so we'll go to the active state. And we're using a shift register to store that state for the next iteration of the loop. So then we'll be in the active state. In the active state, you can see here, we're setting the output to true, and we're checking again now to see if the control stays high, true, um, then we stay in the same state, so we'll stay in the active state. If the user clicks the button again and it goes false, then we'll move to the falling edge state. In the falling edge state, we're basically just marking the time of that falling edge. So we'll move directly to the delay state. We'll leave the output set to true, but we'll record the time um, using this tick count VI. That gets stored in the shift register, and then we'll look at the delay state. So now in the delay state, we're using that previous tick count that we saved and we're saying is the current time minus the previous time so that's the amount of time that's elapsed greater than the delay that we specified if it is that means that enough time has elapsed and we return to the idle state and we set the output to false if enough time hasn't passed then we stay in the current state and we just check again so this will execute over and over again until enough time has passed that we can return to the idle state so that does it for the simple delay um, between toggling a control and updating the output. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com/forums.